Hello friends, today we will be presenting a report on histopathological study of mucormycosis in post-COVID patients. In this presentation, we are sharing our experience of post-COVID mucormycosis of sinonasal tract encountered within the last one week in single ENT hospital bringing to the fore the dangerous complication of COVID infection with multifactorial etiology. Purpose of this short and quick report is to alert the health administration and galvanize them into action to train the doctors in recognizing early symptoms of the disease, to make drug required the treatment to be easily and widely available and to prevent loss of eyesight or even life to the treatable condition. Our laboratory, Pathology Consultancy Services, is a histopathology lab located in Noida. We received first case of nasal mucormycosis on 10th of May 2021. No special attention was paid as we often report case of mucormycosis of the face that is generally 3 to 4 cases per year. But this time we received 3 more biopsies from sinonasal cavity the next day and again 3-4 cases daily for next few days. To our horror we received total 38 cases of mucormycosis within 10 days starting from 10th of May and to make us almost panicky, we received 5 to 6 cases daily in the last 3 days of the week, indicating a grave situation. At this stage, we contacted the consultant ENT surgeon for more clinical information according to which all patients had the following parameters in common. And these parameters are they all were post-COVID cases. They had been hospitalized and even some were in ICU. All the patients were diabetic and most of them had uncontrolled diabetes. All had received steroids for COVID treatment. There was no predilection for any age or sex, though male patients were more in number. Surgeon also discussed clinical symptoms with us in these 38 patients. And these were most of these patients presented with nasal blockage, paresthesia of face, they even had redness of eyes with flowing of tears, there was pain in one eye or one side of the face, patients presented with blackening of skin under the eyes. One patient had blurring of vision and proptosis, for which even enucleation had to be done. One had excision of jaw bones and one patient succumbed to the infection. Now, this is a clinical picture of a 65 year old male showing early congestion of the eye. This picture is of 57 year old male post COVID patient with extensive necrosis of skin under eye. Now this picture is of diagnostic nasal endoscopy. The longer arrow shows black gangrenous mucosa while the shorter arrow shows pink healthy mucosa. Histopathological examination of all these cases were carried out using h &E and PAS teams. 30 of these cases, they showed necrosis of nasal tissue with presence of acute inflammatory exudate along with presence of thick, broad, aseptate hyphae of mucor mycosis, invading necrotic as well as viable tissue and blood vessels. Eight of these cases had mixed infection with mucormycosis as well as aspergillosis. Three cases with pure aspergillosis infection 
were not included in the study. This photo micrograph is a high power view which shows thick broad aseptate hyphae of nuclear mycosis. This photo micrograph shows magenta colored thick hyphae of mucor mycosis. We have used past stain in this. Apart from past stain, we can also use silver stains. This case is of mixed invasive mucor mycosis and aspergillosis. Here we can see aspergillus fungus and these are thick broad hyphae of mucor. In this case, we also got footing bodies of aspergillus along with mucor. Discussion India is currently combating the second wave of coronavirus and the medical fraternity are not only concerned about this deadly virus but also other complications that are being reported by the patients. One such lethal complication being observed is a fungal disease called mucor mycosis or black fungus. It is called as black fungus because of blackening of skin due to gangrene rather than black color of the fungus. With hundreds of cases being reported in states like Gujarat, Bangalore, Mumbai and Delhi, it has triggered an additional wave of panic among the general public. Now, mucor mycosis is a rare fungal infection instigated by the mucor mycete mold that is found extensively in soil, leaves, decayed wood and putrefied manure. When mucor mycosis develops, besides darkening of skin, inflammation and redness, this sickness can also invade lungs, eyes and even the brain, proving to be fatal if left unattended. Therefore, it is crucial to understand the causative factors and prominent symptoms associated with mucor mycosis to quickly identify any possible warning signs arising in both COVID-19 patients and other individuals. Now, what are the risk factors? Certain individuals are more prone to getting affected by fungal infections than others. These individuals, more commonly they have uncontrolled diabetes mellitus or they have a history of prolonged antibiotic treatment or they are on steroid medication to manage an illness such as COVID-19 over an extended length of time. Some patients are being treated in intensive care unit for a prolonged period of time. Infection through humidifier of the oxygen cylinder is also considered one of the risk factors. Apart from this, having a vulnerable immune system that is weakened owing to COVID-19 with comorbidities or previous organ transplant surgeries or cancer therapies, they are also a very big risk factor for mucormycosis. Patients on prolonged antibiotic or antifungal therapy are also very much prone. Now what are the symptoms of black fungus? It can cause sinusitis along with clogging of the nasal tract and bloody or blackish mucus emission from the nose. There could be nasal blockage pain on only one side of the face with lack of sensation, paresthesia or bulging. There could be distinct blackish discoloration on the bridge of the nose. Patients can have prominent toothache or there could be pain in jaw. Degrading of tooth structures can be there. Patients can present with hazy vision, redness of eye, pain, proptosis, watering of eyes due to blocking of nasolacrimal ducts. This fungus can cause abnormal blood clotting or thrombosis of tissue. In late stage, infection can even reach 
brain or lungs leading to high mortality. Now how to diagnose mucormycosis? The first most important step is clinical history and examination followed by diagnostic nasal endoscopy then KOH preparation of the nasal swab followed by fungal culture and the most important step is tissue biopsy for histopathological examination with special stains for fungus. How is mucormycosis treated? Once the diagnosis of mucormycosis or mixed infection with aspergillosis is confirmed, the immediate treatment strategy is to prescribe antifungal medications like amphotericin B. It can be taken either orally if the infection is still minor or administered via injections in more invasive or severe cases. Now, what is the present Indian scenario? According to treating consultants, most of the patients arrive late when they are already losing vision and doctors have to surgically remove the eye to stop the infection from reaching the brain. In some cases, doctors in India say patients have already lost their vision in both eyes and in rare cases, doctors have to surgically remove the jawbone in order to stop the disease from spreading. Take home message. There is an alarming increase in the number of mucormycosis of sinonasal tract in post-COVID patients. Early recognition of symptoms by clinicians is necessary to avoid late complications due to spread of infection to the eyes, brain and lungs. But this needs education of doctors as well as patients through various channels. On the part of pathologists, it is important to be able to diagnose disease in presence of only few fungal hyphae and to look for mixed infection with aspergillosis. Thank you.